Hi, this is Anna. I got a very fun box in the mail this week and I thought I would share it with you. I am an illustrator for Whippersnapper Designs and whenever they do a new release I always order a few of my own stamps on wood blocks so that I have them in my crafting stash and my order came so I thought I would share. This is the idea sheet that they included with my order. Um, they always include one of these with orders and it just gives you ideas on cards that you can make with their stamps and there's always super cute ideas so I always save these. I keep them in my my three ring binder where I keep my unmounted stamps stored. But let me show you the wood mounted stamps that I ordered this time. Um, this is called Buzz Background. It's one of my new background stamps and it measures three and three quarters by five. And it's just this cute whimsical bee design where these bees are in the garden going every direction that they can. And the stamps are uh, red rubber mounted on these really beautiful wood blocks. And you can also order them as cling mount, or you can order them as bare red rubber, but when I order them um, for myself, I like to order my own images on wood mount. They, are, they seem a little bit more special to me that way. I also ordered, this one's called Happy Flowers. And it's just an all over daisy print that I thought would be fun to have. And it actually coordinates with one of my cling sets called Fox Friends. It has the same, that cling set has the same daisy pattern in it, just as a small image. I ordered Halloween Toss. And this is a cute all over holiday print. Um, for Halloween and it's got these very fat cheerful bats and these fat spiders dropping down and the black cat those will all stamp solid and then all the other images in the design will stamp as open line art that you can color you could also stamp it and leave them uncolored as well I think that would be really cute And this might be my favorite image from the release. This is called Chicken Yard. It's also one of the new background stamps and measures three and three quarters by five. And it's just these cute little red hens out in the chicken yard with all of their little babies. They must be hunting for bugs or looking for treasures, that's for sure. So I'm excited to have this one. And then of course, because I have so many farm themed images, I had to include chicken wire. So now I have a new chicken wire background image. And this one also measures three and three quarters by five. And each one of the cells of the chicken wire is about a quarter of an inch large, just to give you an idea of size. So that one will be super fun to have. And then on the uh, fall harvest theme, I have chicken sitting. And this is just a very happy scarecrow. He has a couple of chicken friends. I think his shirt and overalls will be very fun to color, and I just can't wait to get started on projects using him. And then an older image that I ordered, um, it's one I've wanted for a while. This one is called Wildflower Trio, and this actually is uh, my favorite wildflower. And we have wildflowers that grow here. We live in central Texas, and we have flowers that grow here that are called long-headed coneflowers, and it was the inspiration for my image. It's actually my favorite image to draw, my favorite flower to draw in my images, and this is that flower here. And we get fields of them here, and it's just gorgeous in the spring and early summer is when they bloom. Um, I also chose to order some of my dog and cat themed stamps. This is Twiggy. She's an image from the new release. And she's wearing her cute little pink holiday sweater. This image was drawn with inspiration from a gal that I work with. She's a dog trainer in her spare time. This one is called Puppy School. And this little guy is just ready to head off to school. He's got his lunch bag in tow, filled with a bone, and he's got his notebook there for capturing notes from learning. And he's ready for school. And this one is Puppy Valentine, the same little guy, but he is in love. And he has this cute bone valentine for his sweetheart. Surely there's lots of love notes in this little envelope, and he's bringing her some flowers. So that one's called Puppy Valentine. I also ordered Randolph. And if you watched my previous video where I showed the stamps that Whippersnapper sent me to use as giveaways on my blog, this was one of the images that they sent me for that as well. Um, but I wanted to have him for my own. And so uh, Randolph is ready for the holidays. He's wearing his antlers. He's got a fun bone ornament hanging off. And he's just nice and fluffy and ready for the holiday cheer. 
And then I also ordered Wolf Square. This is one of my older images, um, but one that I hadn't added to my stash yet. And I just love this little dog in the window, and he's waving. There's a little heart in the corner. And to go along with it, I ordered Meow Square. And side by side, I think they're a pretty cute pair. And then I also ordered Garden Kitty. And this is just a cute little orange tabby, the way that I've colored it, and it's sitting in this, the flowers. And again, you'll see that it's that same flower that I love to draw so much. And then there's just this very happy little bee there. And then a couple of Christmas stamps that I wanted to use this year. I ordered Blackboard Christmas, and this is one of my new images. It measures just over three inches square, and it says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I thought this would be great to use on the inside of my holiday cards this year. That's a beautiful stamp. And then I also ordered a holiday tag. This one is wishing you, or excuse me, it's called Jolly Season Tag. And it says wishing you a jolly season. And it's just this cute whimsical shaped tag that I thought would be great for gifts this year. I did order one of my own stamps as an unmounted stamp. I ordered, this one is called um, Snowflake Background, and it also measures uh, three and three quarters by five, and it's just this very rustic, almost Nordic snowflake that I'm really excited to use this year. Um, I want to do some emboss resist with this image, and I thought this would be really fun. But I ordered this one as an unmounted stamp. And then I always order a few stamps that are not mine. Um, they're drawn by other, whipper, other whippersnapper illustrators, um, just because I can't resist. They're so cute. So I thought I would share those with you, too. This one is called... What is it? I have my invoice here, so I can tell you. It's called Scarecrow Harvest. And I just thought it was cute with the scarecrow. He's got a little crow sitting up on his shoulder and some sunflowers there. This one is called Perfect Birthday, and it's just this little fat tabby cat. He's wearing a birthday hat, and he's got this giant birthday cake next to him with three candles. This one is called um, Bestie Snowman, and it's just two snowmen side by side. They both have different hats on, and they have very cute scarves on. This one is called Spring Mouse. And she's very sweet. She has a little flower there, and she's sitting next to some toadstools and a couple flowers on her other side. This one is called Snowman Penguin Star, and it's this very cheerful snowman. He's got earmuffs on, a penguin friend who's holding a star wand. This is Oliver. And it's this cute kitten sitting next to uh, sitting next to uh, its dinner bowl with a little fish skeleton in there. This one is called McDonald's Farm, and it's a cow, a pig, and a chicken side by side. That will be great to use with my chicken wire background stamp as well. This one is called Celebrating Another Life, and again, it's just cute fat kitten or cat wearing a party hat. There's a present over here, lots of confetti and a balloon, another gift over here, and a giant cupcake. What a way to celebrate. This one is called Snowman's Garland. And there's a stocking, an ornament, and a bow. This one is called um, Oh Hoppy Day, and it's just this really smiley frog. It's very excited with his hands up in the air. And there's a couple of flowers here on either side. And then the last stamp that I ordered is called Lil Jackson. And it's just this cute little puppy dog next to his bowl with a bone. So those are the stamps that I ordered for this release. Um, I hope you enjoyed this share. I do have some stamps that I will be giving away. Uh, you can visit my blog for details on that. The blog address is sweetmissdaisy.typepad.com. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm very excited to start using my new stamps, and I can't wait to get started. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.